<laughs> Sorry. I could never imagine that 30 years ago. I want to just say that I hope 30 years from now, we are all right here. 30 years from right now. Double feature with my new movie. Seriously, it's unbelievable that it's been 30 years since this movie was made. I was only four years old. I barely knew it. I'm not kidding. That's really true. Um, wow, that looks just like me on the side of that. I've been here a few times to the first meetings of this film, and I've brought many different people from the cast of this film. Um, tonight, there are four people here. And I'm going to bring them all out, kind of at the same time, only not. Um, and uh, before I do, I just... I didn't, I didn't prepare anything. Duh, that's kind of clear. Um, but I wanted to just say one more time that uh, it's staggering to me that, that this movie holds up and that uh, people like it. Because I really like it. I feel proud of it. Um, you know all the history of it. Blah, 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 blah. Tim <laughs> Burton. It's the main person that needs to be mentioned tonight in, in connection to this movie because this movie wouldn't be this movie without Tim or me. And, <laughs> and, uh, and so without further ado, and, and, and thank you so much, really. Honestly, it means a lot to me that people come up to me every day and tell me amazingly nice stuff about this movie because it saves me having to say it to them. Um, <laughs> so uh, I, I'd very first like to bring out somebody who's makes me feel old. I don't know about you guys, but how many people here have seen this movie before? Uh, you are lying. Uh, so, <laughs> I feel like it's my family down here. They're laughing so hard. Um, <laughs> it is you. Uh, there's, um, there's a scene in the movie, and he's been here in the past, but it's not here tonight, Chuck, from Chuck's bike Rama. But, however, there was a kid in the movie who was a kid. He was Chip. And he's here tonight, and I'm going to bring him out right now. Give him a little bit of sugar. His name is Damon Martin. He was Chip. Come on, Damon. Here, come stand right here on this corner. Yeah, he looked kind of right there. I don't know if you recognize him or not. Does anybody recognize him? I'm going to tell you a really, really quick story. Um, it's not that quick. Um, Damon was kind enough to come in and be in sort of a semi-disaster scene uh, in Beauty's Big Holiday. And uh, Joe Manganiello, who was also in the movie, was there on the same night. And Joe Manganiello... Is, uh, knows Big Adventure very, very well. And Joe Manganiello, in, a, in kind of like this, dark, at nighttime scene, recognized Damon from Big Adventure. Like, this is just a month ago, a couple months ago. And he went, are you Chip from Big Adventure? <laughs> to Damon, which, that's a stretch, in my opinion. I mean, that's, a, somebody, that's, that's a good eye, in my opinion. And then Damon was kind enough and crazy enough to come back a little while later having gone to his trailer and looked up his scene from Big Adventure in, as Chip in the BMX, uh, with his BMX gang in the bike shop. And he sat at our dinner break in the middle of the night and did all of his lines and played the scene for <laughs> who was sitting watching it like this. 
That's a true story. I mean, why would I make that up? <laughs> so thank you very much for all of that. Thanks for being here. Um, I want to bring out next both of the women. They call themselves. I'm going to let let her remind me what they call it. As with swans, but I think it's Pee Wee Swans. Um, uh, they're the two main women in Big Adventure. E.G. Daly, who plays Scotty. And Diane Salinger, who plays Simone. That was our event. Uh, Quickly, that E.G. You probably you probably remember E.G. was uh, we were reunited very recently on The Voice when you were a contestant on The Voice just a year two years ago, and um, Diane and I have seen each other very recently. We have all kept in touch for the last few years, and um, <laughs> and you're performing very soon. You're performing at the Whiskey A Go Go. That's on Sunset Strip. And when when is it? October. Oh, it's November 22nd. Come down and see me. November 22nd. Be there. I'll be there. I'm pretty sure. Um, <laughs> more of my family. Big pocket of my family. Way over there in the South Madness. Um, what did you like best about me? Uh, <laughs> We don't want to take too much longer. I just, everybody comes, you, I think you guys come for the same reason when I come here. It's so much fun to just come here and see all you freak out to the movie. So, uh, we'll get to that in one second. I want to just bring one other guest out here, and I want to just say this. I have brought a lot of unbelievable people here. And these people are by, by no means not unbelievable. Um, but I have one more person here who's never been here before, and I wanted to say, and this could be a hint ahead of time, I know this is, but this is truly unbelievable, I would even say amazing. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to present my very old friend, Lou Cattell, the amazing Larry. Okay, I just, I have a very, very long story I want to tell really long right now. Um, if you know this movie, Lou appears as the Amazing Larry. He's only in one scene. Two scenes, you're... Well, Lou and I hadn't seen each other in 20 years, 28 years, until two years ago, and I, we just ran into each other, kind of accidentally. And he said to me, you cut me, I haven't seen you since you cut me completely out of your movie, except one line. And we, you know, we got through that. And it was a um, but here's what happened. I remember this like it was yesterday. The studio said to me, you can't have that scene in the movie. You can't, you can't say, amazing, is this something you can share with the rest of the group, Amazing Larry? Because you cut his scene out, so no one knows who he is. I said, He's a man dressed in leather, and he has a multicolored mohawk, and his name's The Amazing Larry. It doesn't matter. <laughs> and I guess this doesn't, this is kind of an I love that story moment. There is no real ending to this, except for the fact that I was right. <laughs> so anyway, I do, I love that story. I guess I'm forced to let you. Thanks. Well, then I got mad, you know, what really was mad. And I went into another production of Seinfeld, and I'm known as the Ass Man. <laughs> <laughs> so that was the deal, and I wink at everybody all the time. But I can't thank you enough for explaining it. Because so many people say, Lou, you only got that one scene, but I'm in the DVD. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. It's like it was yesterday. Did I say that? Deja vu. Uh, without further ado, thank you so much for coming. Please tell your friends that you had a good time. 
Kiwis Big Adventure. Thank you.